lessons that you have learned. Um, just uh, when we were just outside waiting to come in, you know, and talking to a few individuals, it is quite clear that um, as educators uh, teaching programming to students, uh, we have our challenges, do we not? Uh, you know, with students learning to program, um, and it is uh, apparently a task that is not as easy as some of us think it is for students. Um, so at Republic Polytechnic, um, we have used uh, Python as a language is something that we have used, uh, I think, close to 10 years ago. Uh, but if only the language solved all our problems, then we don't need to be here. But clearly, the language itself, whilst uh, well documented to be a useful and good language for beginner programmers, uh, that in itself doesn't solve all our problems, right? There are other things that we are challenged with, students' you know, ability to think computationally and so on. So, so I'm really excited that you are all here. I'm um, looking forward to the opportunity to meet up with all of you. And I'm sure most of you will also like to be catching up with one another and hearing from one another what, we can, uh, what new things we can learn uh, and, and bring back to our places of work uh, when we start teaching our students. Uh, can I also just give a shout out to, to the organizers? Uh, you know, maybe give them a, 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 a hand. Uh, I think Mr. Guy, uh, whom I know, uh, and, and a whole lot of volunteers, I, I just like to maybe just mention this very briefly that the PyCon APEC, uh, as a conference, started uh, 10 years uh, ago, right? No, eight years ago. Uh, and then we moved around different countries since then. But uh, but it's really a, a f run by a group of volunteers, you know. It's sometimes not easy to get volunteers because they are giving their time and their effort and they are not exactly paid, right? They're still not paid, right, Mr. Gee? <laughs> as far as I know. So I don't think they are paid for the, the effort, but very much driven by their passion. So, so I'm, I'm really encouraged to see that. Uh, and, and, you know, if any of you here uh, would like to help in that space, I think, uh, I think Mr. Gee would most certainly welcome that. You know? So I think it's very much uh, you know, his effort in driving this. Um, maybe one final word. Uh, I know we, we use Python as our, in, in, in our teaching, uh, so that's, uh, we wouldn't have to say too much about that. But in a couple last few weeks, I was at a meeting with some IMDA folks as well. And as you know, uh, IMDA uh, for Singapore talks about like four frontier technologies that they want to develop Singapore in, which is like AI and, and data analytics in cybersecurity or immersive media, uh, as well as IoT, right? And, and they did a, a survey of a lot of startup companies uh, globally. And as, as, as you have probably seen, these things called a word cloud, right? In all these different frontier technologies, um, what came through in the, those word clouds was Python, actually. And interestingly enough, and, and, some, and in some cases, and like in AI and data, data analytics, Python was the biggest word that, that came out in that word cloud. Interestingly enough, even in immersive media, okay, not as big, but even that, there was a, the, the, the Python was there. So, so, so what, what was encouraging there was that whilst as educators we use Python as a teaching language, but uh, I'm also pleased that you know, the language that we are using is, is so relevant and going to be so relevant for them when they, when they go out to industry as well. Unlike uh, the language that I was taught, Pascal, and uh, I think they didn't see the light of day when I went out to industry. So, huh? It is still alive. It is still alive. Okay, <laughs> okay. Alive. okay. I, I'm not sure which part. I haven't seen it yet. I will catch up with you, Prof. Prof. Leong, uh, on where is it alive. But, uh, but uh, so so you should be encouraged with that as well. Yeah. So uh, without uh, much ado, I you know um, pass it on uh, to the organizers, and, and they'll take it on. So, so thank you very much. Right. Uh, I'm sure you'll have a good uh, good session today. Thank you.